Hello, hello, Marnie here, and today I'll be showing how to move your Pal World save, world, character, etc. from the Game Pass version over to the Steam version. Uh, you will need both of them installed, and I highly recommend making a world on the Steam version first, because that way you'll just be able to replace the files and it's going to be a lot simpler, so yeah, definitely recommend that first. Just throwing it out there, I am streaming Pal World most nights at the moment, but anyway, moving on. But other than that, we are just going to need a freely available tool called XGP Save Extractor, which big prop to the developers this. This is uh, really useful. It's basically a one-click solution and actually supports a bunch of games. And yeah, they recently had a Power World spot, which yeah, big, big thank you for that because that, uh, that is a big help. And yeah, this is just on GitHub. I'll have the link in the description. But uh, once you're here, just head down to this link, releases. Wait for that. And then yeah, XGP save extractor.exe. Just click that and it'll start downloading. And that is uh, there's over here. And that is just click and run. And uh, just got to wait a few seconds. It's just a Python script. Um, there's no options or anything, so it will back up all of the games you have installed. Um, but yeah, just hit enter once that's done. All right, close. And as you can see, it backs up everything, so you can just delete the others. I'll keep them if you want them for any reason. But that'll leave us with our Power World data. Just go ahead and extract that. Done. And yeah, as you'll see, I have kind of two sets of files here. You'll see by the that. That's because I have two different worlds. So you'll most likely have one. Um, if you have multiple worlds and you're not sure which is which, um, you can check here. Um, this These times here should match up to the time shown in the actual game. Like, um, like when you're in the game menu and you're selecting your world, the last save should match up to one of these. So you can probably tell which world is from that. Otherwise, you may have to try both. But... Um, just for our example here, I'll go and delete one of them. From there, we'll just need to find the Steam save data, which I uh, said, so this is why it's best to make the world first in Steam, so you'll have this data there, much easier. Uh, but that's just in PC, local disk, users, uh, your username, which mine is user, app data, local, and then pal, into save, saved game, and we start here. You can see there's user option, just drag that over there, and you'll want to replace, I won't do that, because that'll replace my current one, but yeah, just replace that, done. Open up that, more numbers and letters. And uh, these are the next four we need to replace. So we're gonna have to just change the names of all these first. So just go ahead and remove this part off each. And the file should look like that when you're done. So just make sure that that's all good. From there, you just wanna grab those four, drag them over again, replace, which uh, again, I won't do, but yes, replace those four. Head into the players folder. And then last up is just dragging that over. Also replace that one. And you're done. You're uh, you're good to go. That that should be it. Um, so I've only done this myself once, um, but everything was smooth. So if you do have questions, feel free to ask them. I'm not like an expert with all this, but if I can help, I will. And yeah, that's uh, it. Just went super smooth. I had no issues issues too, uh, because the game version, game pass version, is on an older version of Pal World. But um, yeah, I ran into no issues or anything. My base loaded, pals loaded, um, nothing weird. Um, yeah, very smooth, oddly enough. So that's, uh, that's always nice to see. Uh, but yeah, probably best to uh, do backups first in case if you're overriding anything. But assuming you're probably going to be on a fresh Steam install. So there's not really anything to lose because this is a backed up version from that tool anyway. So uh, but yeah, so questions if you have them, feel free to ask. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day, and uh, yeah, be well. Bye-bye.